Hello and welcome to Beanworks University. This lesson will focus on approving POs in Beanworks. If you need help logging in for the first time, make sure to watch our video lesson on that topic. If your company is new to Beanworks, please remember that with every new system, there may need to be slight adjustments in the beginning. This means that very occasionally, you may get a PO for your approval that should not be yours. If this happens, simply reject the PO and alert your system admin. They'll fix the workflow with Beanworks help. The workflow will be perfected after the first couple weeks. Okay, let's get on to the actual approval instructions. Once a PO has been created and submitted for approval, it will be in a status of pending approval. If you have POs pending your approval, you'll get an email from Beanworks telling you exactly how many POs are awaiting your approval. You can click on the link in the email and log in. If you're in Beanworks already, click on the black side navigation bar and click on the Approval tab under Purchase Orders. Each user in Beanworks has their account configured to the type of work they do. When you're logged in, it might look slightly different than our examples, but the approving functionality should always be the same. OK, let's start approving some purchase orders. In the Approvals tab, you will only see POs that are currently pending your approval. You won't see any other purchase order in a different status or waiting for someone else's approval. To view the first PO needing your approval, double-click on the row or click on the Details View icon. This will bring you into the Details View of the PO. First, we'll look at some of the functionality available to you as an approver around the pages. The most commonly used is the Zoom slider, which you can use to change the size of the pages so you can see them more easily. There is also a PDF button to download a copy of the purchase order if you need. The Add Pages option allows you to add additional pages to the PO. A good example of when you need to do this is when you have an important email thread. You can save it as PDF and add to the PO. When you click to add pages, you will be adding them as backup pages to the PO. There are two ways to add files. You can drag and drop from your computer into the upload area or press the Add Files button and simply navigate to where they're located on your computer and press Open. When you have added the files, press Upload. Remember that pressing the Control button on your keyboard while you select pages will allow you to select multiple pages to change at the same time. You may want to rotate one or more pages or reorder them, which is easy to do using the image buttons. Any page with a blue border will be impacted by the action. Make sure to save using one of the Save buttons whenever you're done making changes so that you don't lose everything you've done. The final thing to remember when working with images is that you cannot delete pages when a PO is pending approval. The correct action would be to reject it with a comment of what pages should be deleted if some of the pages are incorrect. We'll show you how to reject a purchase order later on. Some approvers have the ability to change some of the coding on the PO, such as GL code or description. If you have this ability, remember to always save when you're done making the changes. Review the video on coding purchase orders if you're unsure how to change coding correctly. If you don't have the ability to make changes to the coding of a PO, but think you should, please contact your internal accounting system admin, and they may be able to enable this functionality for you. Once you've finished reviewing the PO, simply select either the Approve or Reject button. Leaving a comment when approving is optional, but when rejecting the PO, a comment is mandatory. This is to help the person who submitted the purchase order correct it and resubmit the corrected purchase order for approval. You may also have the ability to group approve or reject POs. To do this, go back into the Approvals tab where you can see the list of purchase orders awaiting your approval. Select the POs you wish to group approve or reject, then go to Actions and select the correct action. Please note that this functionality should only be used when you do not need to see the image of the purchase order or the coding, which could be an exception to your normal workflow. Typically, you should review every PO one by one. Once again, your system administrator may restrict this functionality and you might not have this ability. Once you've approved a purchase order, your approval is logged in the approval history. You can see it in the details view of the PO. A PO may have multiple approvers before it's fully approved. You can check this by clicking the little arrow in the approval history area. It will show you who has to review the purchase order next and any other approval paths this PO is following. A percentage bar indicates how far the PO is through the approval process. Once a purchase order is fully approved, it sits on the committed tab. It's ready for an invoice referencing the PO number to be sent to Beanworks so that they can be automatically matched. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and for becoming an expert approver. If you have any questions, please contact Beanworks support at support at beanworks.com.